Bonjour, Monsieur A. Kamahade ni Klas. Hello, I'm Jessel. I'm really good at listening. I always pay attention. I'm patient. And I always try to understand what someone is saying. Good day everyone! I'm Michaela and a trustworthy one, an active listener, not a fault finder. Bye! Hi guys! I'm Nicole. I'm fond of telling the listening. So yeah, I'm lively in sharing. Hi! I'm Shikyan. I'm quite quiet. However, I do believe that communication is not just a thing. I just everything as its favorite way for clarity and one of the best. You wonder who I am? I am Christine. I am a timid person, so I may not be the first to strike up a conversation. But if I am comfortable, I can participate in a meaningful conversation. Hi there! Me, myself, and I, I'm Grace. I'm not used to being talked to because of my intimidating outward views. As an affiliate of the human populace, I can pose a message. I relish having an in-depth conversation on which I pop at my mouth wide as a boot in a restaurant to ensure that nobody feels left out. Aristotle model of communication is proposed by ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle highlights the power of persuasive communication. In this model, the speaker is the central and takes full control of the communication process. It is especially relevant to public speaking, seminar, lectures, focusing on the ability of the speaker to influence the audience response. It is one way communication style most effective and widely accepted for persuasive communication. This model considers five components. The first component is the speaker. Obviously, the speaker who delivered the speech. The second one is the speech, the message of the communication which the speaker wants to deliver to their audience. The third one is the occasion. The occasion refers to the specific context or situation in which the communication takes place. The fourth one is the audience. The audience, of course, is the receiver of the speech. Audience is also known as listener. The next one is the effects. The effects can be negative and positive. It is the consequences of the speech that simply denotes whether the audience is persuaded or not. Moving on to the other element of Aristotle model of communication. Ethos is a Greek word which means character. It is a communication where you are trying to convince audience that you are a qualified speaker with uh, punctual information. For example, I am one of the actors in TV advertisement that tries to persuade you ba to buy it by demonstrating it with you if, with relevant information. So aside from ethos, we also have pathos. Pathos is a Greek word that means emotions. It is essential in Aristotle model of communication because it is used to convey the message with appropriate feelings on how the message should be delivered. Uh, emotional bonds will make the listener fascinated and make feel that the speaker is one of them. For example, advertisement for charity organization may evoke the feelings of empathy and compassion to encourage donations. And that's all. The Aristotle model of communication is a speaker's subject model. Dogos is a Greek for the variety of different meanings, including reason, discourse, and tea among others. The realm of public speaking, Aristotle defined logos as a proof, proof provided by the words of the speech itself. In other words, logos press an actual written content of an algorithm. A call to action is a powerful tool to move people from being a passive listener to active participant. It is an essential part of motivating people to take the desired actions and achieve the desired outcomes. Imagine you're watching a commercial for a new product. At the end of the advertisement, they might say, call now to order yours, or visit our website to learn more and make a purchase today. These are examples of call to action. This goal is to motivate people to take an actions and engage with the product or service being created. Five persuasion situations. While we faced many different situations where we want to persuade others or otherwise change their minds in a conversation, many of these are similar in the basic outcome we are trying to achieve. Situations where we want to persuade include First, reveal To get them to tell you something Second, do To get them to do something for us Third, desist, to get them to stop 
doing something. Fourth, learn. To help them to understand. Fifth, believe. To change what they believe. For the first example in Reveal, as you can see in the video representation, the law enforcement officer or investigator questions the suspect formally in a police interrogation, asking direct questions in order to ascertain the truth behind unlawful activity. At the end, with the convincing power of the investigator, the suspect confessed that he was really the one who committed the crime. For do, um, a customer goes to a mobile repair shop to find someone who's able to repair her phone. The shop's enthusiastic owner entertains him by using his persuasive abilities and has prepared a speech in advance so that he doesn't forget any important details. The owner's amiable demeanor ignited the customer's interest and he was struck by it. For the sis, the old death daughter Ronnie had the stubbornness to steer her in the wrong direction and turn her into a drunkard. However, since she was with her family, she had not been alone. Her parents urged her to make a complete life change and come back to them. Learn. In the course of a typical class, the instructor encourages her students to participate fully in their academic program and choose wisely in their careers by always maintaining an even temper. Believe. To share the gospel, preacher Anna constantly visits home. She visited a religious and affiliated home, but via her tenacity and application of her own teachings, she was able to inspire the locals to take up the religion she practiced. Thank you for listening and goodbye!